Hey everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New World as Japan. So when I last left off I was considering declaring war on Shaka already just to get rid of this stupid great general but I'm not going to, that would screw up my entire plan and taking Ulundi is far more important than getting rid of one great general. However I am going to ask Ashurbanipal and Dido to declare war on Shaka already because I want them to start fighting each other, then I can join in in a few turns once I get my trebuchets once I get the Samurai, so let's do it. I have a lot of positive modifiers with them, so this shouldn't really be a problem. Yeah. Do I want to give them open borders? Not necessarily. How's their tourism? If they have any tourism already, then I'm not going to give them open borders. Four and four. Well, I guess four is not a big deal. Alright, then can have it. I want to save my money, Shoot because it. I'm going to need some gold to upgrade my catapults to trebuchets. So I'd rather yeah, give yeah, them open borders zip. than pay 40 gold extra. Anyway, accept. Dabby. And same with Dido. I'll have to sell some of my iron or horses, because Dabby. I don't have enough money to upgrade three catapults right now. One catapult to trebuchet is something around 150 gold on Epic, so I'm going Dabby. to need around 450. Anyway, declare war on Shaka. And 6 gold and open borders. Yeah, I'm fine with that deal. And I'm going to sell 5 iron. I don't think I'm going to get more than 2, maybe 3 samurai. So this will leave me with 3 iron, which is exactly what I need. And I can get 360 gold for this. No? 337. Alright, fine by me. And now... Also, one more thing I can do is... Start a citadel right on top of this tile, which will give me control of these two tiles directly next to Lundi. So I could position my melee units right here, and then position trebuchets behind them. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. That will keep my trebuchets safe. Alright, so that's the plan. I hope this guy won't start a citadel right on top of this tile, because that would screw up my entire plan. I hope he won't. But only one way to find out. Next. Oh yeah. Continue the farm. Alright, I still want to do something about this stupid settler. I might have to just kill him once I declare war. Probably. I will get a swordsman in Kyoto. I delayed the swordsman one turn just to finish him after the steel research is done. Because then my production towards the swordsman should transfer to the samurai instead. So now I can move him to the front of the queue again. And let's grab physics. I hope she won't discover my spy, but even if she does, whatever, I don't care. So, time for upgrades. But I am going to start a citadel right here. That's a perfect location for a citadel. I'm actually going to steal the silk from him with the citadel. <laughs> yeah, he's going to hate me for it. But hey, I would get the silk anyway, once I capture Londi. This way I can get it a little bit earlier. So, let's move in. These two guys will stay directly next to Londi. And I'm going to move in with my trebuchets. How much gold is that? 145. So I was close. I was only 5 gold off. There we go. I still got 230. But I'm going to need to upgrade the swordsman. In two turns. So I do need that money. I still got 6 more iron. But I would have to take control of that tile. Which is probably not worth it. It might be worth it. Actually, yeah, I think it's worth it, because then I can sell that for over 300 gold easily. So that's actually worth it. And that's all I can really do on this turn, I think. So next. I should be able to take Ulundi without too many problems. The hard part will be actually being able to hold it. Oh yeah, she discovered my spy. Oh well, I'll just tell her that I won't spy on her anymore, but I'm keeping my spy in Carthage anyway. Oh, I'm no longer ally of Hanoi, but I'm still friendly with them. So that's fine, I guess. I don't really have enough money to ally myself with them. So whatever. Right. Move in. So one trebuchet goes here on top of the citadel. Another goes where my swordsman is. And the third one... Either here or here. I think this is going... Hmm. This is going to be easier to defend, I think. 
Yeah, because some of my units are already here. Alright, well, let's do it like that. Would be awesome getting one more Shebushe, because then I could bombard Ulundi with four different Shebushes on the same turn and decree war on, but I don't really have enough money or time to get fourth. So three will have to do. I mean, three Shebushes is already a lot of firepower against a city with 29 combat strength. I should be able to take Ulundi in three turns max. Walls are finished, so workshop. And next. So I'm actually almost ready. I could have declared war already because I don't really need that samurai all that much. That's only one swordsman. But I'm keeping an eye on that stupid settler. I want to get rid of that settler when I declare war. Okay, first to Napoleon and then. Okay. Let's try it again. Oh, he doesn't want first anymore. Alright. What about Monty? Yeah, he does. Oh, he doesn't have money. Okay. That kind of sucks. Napoleon? No, I already checked Napoleon. I'm already trading with Dido and Ashubanipal. Attila? Nope. So I can't really trade my first anymore. Which kind of sucks. I'll just keep an eye on Monty, I guess. I can trade with Monty once he gets at least some gold per turn. Anyway. Oh, another nice thing about Olondi is that I'll get all this silver as soon as I take it. So that's awesome. So just checking my positioning. You go here. Oh yeah. Upgrade. 145. Not too bad. I can afford that. Alright. I need to leave some melee units around Bolawayo just in case he tries to take Bolawayo from the east or whatever. I don't think that's very likely, but he does have some units in the east. Oh yeah, what? This should have changed to Samurai. I guess it didn't. Oh well, I let the Swordsman finish. I can definitely use him. So, I'm going to declare war on the next turn. I could do it on this turn, I suppose. But nah, let's wait one more. Just positioning myself properly. And that Samurai will be useful as soon as I declare war. And this guy. Alright. So I think this positioning looks fine. I can move on top of the hill, just to have a look around. Next. But as I said, the hard part will be actually being able to defend Ulondi against all these impies. Once I get musket men, this won't really be a problem anymore. Because obviously the impies are not so powerful against musket men. They are still pretty damn good. They can almost put up a fight against the musket men. That's how crazy they are. Speaking of musket men, I will definitely go for Renaissance era uh, through, through gunpowder because it doesn't really make a lot of sense researching acoustics when I can research gunpowder instead. I will finish education because I need my university. But once I'm done with education, I'm going straight for gunpowder and I might go for chemistry after that. Yeah, I probably will. I see no reason not to. I will get some cannons. Anyway. So, just checking. Do I declare war right now? I think so. I was hoping these units will get out of the way. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I could wait one more turn, I suppose. Just to position myself a little bit better. So, hold on. This guy can go here. The composite bombman goes here. And, alright, that looks much better now. And this guy goes here. Okay, I'm going to wait one more turn. And then declare war. I might have to move the pikemen to protect my trebuchet because my flank is a little bit exposed. A little bit too exposed for my taste at least. But this might be fine. I can move this pikeman here. Alright, so that looks good. Granary is done, so I need the workshop. And... Alright, so this is going to be the most important moment of this entire game. If I can take Olondi, I will be in a pretty decent shape. If not, then I'll just keep fighting Shaka for the next 100 turns or so. He won't be as dangerous once I get gunpowder units, but he's still annoying because he usually has a lot of money and he spams a lot of units. Also, did I set auto purchase? Yes, I did. So, let's declare war. I'm not going to wait anymore. Nothing to wait for. I'm ready to do this. 
Where's that stupid settler? Okay, there he is. I need to get rid of that settler. Oh, now my production updated to Samurai. I need to kill that settler before he starts some obnoxious city on the coast right here, for example. That would be annoying. But, okay, I'm declaring war. Maybe Napoleon would declare war? I can ask him. That seems unlikely, but hey, who knows? Continue. Yes, he actually will. For silk. Well, the silk is from Shaka, so I might actually accept this. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of funny. I steal Shaka's silk and then share it to Napoleon in exchange for war declaration. <laughs> if that's not a douchebag move, then I don't know what is. But gold would be better. Hold on. I'm getting 24 gold per turn. So let's check this one more time. This is only for 10 turns? No, 45 turns. Hmm, I can give him open borders, I suppose. What else can I give him? I can give him some iron, maybe. I will get 6 iron soon, so... Does he want iron at all? Does he value iron? Yes, he does. So let's check this again. So iron, open borders. And 7 gold per turn. Not the best deal ever, but I'd rather keep my luxuries. So accept? Accept! Okay, this will be fun. So Shaka is at war with three different civilizations now. And the good news is, I'm going to get reduced warmonger penalty for taking Ulundi with the civilizations that are already at war with Shaka. That was one of the changes in the fall patch, which is quite nice. So now Shaka is going to have really bad time. Right, the camp is done, so... Yeah, wine, I need that. And now I'm declaring war. This will be fun. So now he's at war with pretty much everyone who's remotely close to his borders. Just having a look at global politics, yep. So, I'm going to start by bombarding Olondi, quite obviously. Move this guy here. And let's start bombarding Olondi. Even without volley, I'm doing a lot of damage. Olondi is only at 30 combat strength, which is pretty low, 410-198. Carthage is at 41. What about Assyria? Assur is at 37. That's not much higher. But yeah, Carthage is at 41. Tenochtitlan is at 44. And Dido already has basket, man. Hey, that's good for me. So, just checking the situation. I need to plan my moves carefully. I will probably lose some units, but I want to minimize my losses. Okay, let's focus fire this guy. Do I attack him with my melee units? No, I don't think so. Yeah, I want to keep my melee units at full health for now. Not much to do here, so I think I'll just skip to the next turn. Yeah, I think so. Right, next turn. So I might lose a unit or two. I might lose the pikeman right here because he has some impies in range. No, I didn't actually. Wow. Almost. He stayed alive. So I can keep him alive for one more turn if I use heal instantly. Can I take Ulondi on this turn? First, let's move in. And oh yeah, I got the samurai. So I need to get rid of that stupid settler. I can block the way with my worker. And I guess I will. Yeah, I can block the way. I don't want him to start a city. Let's keep bombarding Ulondi. Yeah, he's already in red. So, it will go down on the next turn, in fact. Do I use heal instantly or can I get him to safety? Not really, I can't get him to safety, so I guess I'll just use heal instantly because he's about to die anyway. And this way he might be able to stay alive for one more turn. That seems unlikely, but at least he'll act as an aggro magnet. Satsuma needs something new. Workshop. I need workshop in every single city. And then I need iron works in my capital, probably. And yes, I will get the fish improved, but I want to get rid of that settler. And I can't do that without an actual unit. That's not a civilian unit. Oh yeah, this guy is almost dead. So, can I save him? No, probably not. I'll just keep him there. I don't want to lose my composite bowmen. 
Well, as I said, I will lose some units and that's fine. I can almost kill the longswordsman, so let's do that. Nice. That's plus 5 experience. Yeah, this composite bowman is a little bit useless right now. And I guess I can move him here. So, next turn. I could maybe take Ulondi on this turn. Hmm. Maybe I should. I think I can take it on this turn. Okay, let's do it. No, I can't. Wow, okay, that was a bad move. Now I regret doing that, but whatever. What's done is done. I thought I can take it. Oh well, I'll take it on the next turn. Not a big deal, really. Oh nice, he has some gold now. So, only 5 gold per turn. And open borders. I guess that's better than nothing, so I'll take it. Yeah, now this MP is right in the middle of my units. But I have one more pikeman. But that means I lost two pikemen on that turn. I shouldn't have done it. Oh well, whatever. No point dwelling on it. So, now I'm taking it. Creed Puppet. And now, I need to make sure that I can retake it, if he takes it back on his next turn. Alright, so much for that settler. Now I can focus on my improvements. And focus on killing these units. I don't think he will be willing to negotiate yet, nope. But now I can sell all that silver. And if he takes the city back, that will break the deals. Oh, Ashurbanipal doesn't even have any money. Didio has plenty. So, 360 gold for that. Yep, she nice. accepted, nice. What about Napoleon? Bonjour. Yeah, he should give me 6 gold per turn or so, maybe 7. Nope, but 6 gold per turn is fine by me. Alright, I'll keep 1 silver, just for extra happiness. Meanwhile, let's get rid of some of these. I want to save my samurai though. Yes, I definitely want to save my samurai. I also want to save my trebuchet. So this is a little bit tricky. I can kill this guy. He's the only target I have for my trebuchet, so down he goes. How do I save my trebuchet right now? Hmm, good question. I need to do as much damage as possible to that impi. So, like this. And... The swordsman? Oh, I can't fire at anything with this guy. Well, that's the best I can do. Oh, I should have moved my great general. That was a mistake. That's the second mistake in this siege. I usually don't make mistakes like that. Oh well. I hope that won't cost me losing the trebuchet. No. It won't. Now I can take Ulundi back. And maybe he will be willing to send peace after that. We'll see. I need some more melee units nearby. If I'll have to retake it one more time. Okay, education is done. So... Ulundi first. And then I'll worry about everything else. So it's mine. Yes, it's down to one population, but whatever. No, he's not willing to negotiate still. Okay. I guess we'll keep fighting then. I need to get rid of all of these melee units. Hmm. I'm running out of melee units myself. Wow, he's coming with more. Okay. This is about to get more interesting. So, kill this guy. I need some melee units in Ulundi's range. He's probably going to take Ulundi on the next turn. I can move in with my samurai. I don't think he'll be able to kill my samurai. He might be able to. So this is a little bit risky. But I guess that's acceptable risk right now. I don't really have a big choice. I don't have one more melee unit here, but by the time he gets to Ulundi, that's going to take at least a few turns, probably. Oh well, not much I can do about that right now. So, what are all these notifications? Oh yeah, I lost the silver deal to Dido. Can I trade this again? Yeah, I can. For 360 gold again? Dumb. Yeah, that's a bit gamey, but... I feel dirty for doing this, but whatever. I want to get something out of losing all that population in Ulundi, at least. <laughs> so I can get gold. Why would I give you open borders for silver? Five gold. Not the best deal ever, but I'm probably going to lose Ulundi again right now. Nope, I didn't. 
France. Oh, France wants declaration of friendship. Yeah, let's work together. I lost another composite moment. I need to sign a peace deal as soon as possible. And then I should be able to get gunpowder before we go to war again. Which will make impeace kind of irrelevant. Nope, he's not willing to negotiate still. But I can move out of Volundi with my pikemen. And he's running out of melee units. So I need to protect my samurai. Let's move back like that. Move out with my pikemen. And move out with that worker, I suppose. Right, and keep moving towards the Londi with the samurai. This is quite exciting. I made two mistakes during this siege, but as I said, mistakes happen, I guess. I usually don't make mistakes like that. So... Right. This is going to be tricky. Do I stay here and fire at one of these? Yeah, I think so. I might lose that composite moment, but these are all acceptable losses. I don't mind losing some units. Okay, the MP is down. So hopefully he's running out of units. Out of melee units at least. Not much I can do with this trebuchet and I need to keep it safe. So it will have to stay there. Any improvements I can get? Nothing super useful. I can chop a few forests. I think I will. Hmm. Yeah, I have plenty of forests on top of Tanja tiles. So I should chop all the forests on top of non-Tanja tiles. Like this, for example. Yeah. So let's go there, I suppose. Alright. How many workers do I have anyway? Wow. I have what? Seven workers right now? Well, I suppose I do have seven cities. So, six cities actually, but whatever. Anything else I can do on this turn? No, not really. Alright, so he will take Ulundi one more time, most likely. Then I can retake it yet again. And that might be enough to sign a peace deal there. We'll see. Yeah, he took it again. So hey, 360 gold from Dido, again. I feel a bit dirty for doing that, but whatever. So, again. And one more shot. And it's mine again. <laughs> yeah, I can keep doing that. Well, no, I can't keep doing it because I'll run out of units soon. Dumb. Let's trade. I had you like silver. 360. Yep, that happened again. Volley. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. But yeah, I need to get rid of these guys now. Or back up with my trebuchet. I can afford losing some composite bomb and I can't afford losing my trebuchets. Maybe I'll just back up one tile. If I stay here, I'm probably going to lose them. Hmm. Maybe I won't. It's a little bit risky if I stay there. And by a little bit, I mean very risky. I can move out with my great general. I mean, this is not a very experienced trebuchet, so even if I lose it, I can get new ones. Okay, so it's done. But now... Hmm. I can't block the way, unfortunately. So he might be able to take Ulundi back. Do I just move in with my samurai? I really don't want to lose the samurai, but... I need to have a melee unit in range, so... I have to do it, don't have a big choice. Alright, is he willing to negotiate yet? No, he's not. I need a few more turns, probably. Before he'll accept any kind of deal, or before he'll be willing to talk uh, at all. Mine is done, perfect. Let's check tile assignments in here. Now, give me some food. Or here. Yeah, this is much better now. And I guess I can chop the forest. Reinforcements are coming. And get a mine or farm over here. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot about the university. I already delayed it enough, but that workshop is almost done. So, might as well let it finish. That's only three turns, so I'll let it finish. Can he take it again? I lose my pikemen if he does, obviously. Yeah, he did. Oh well. Whatever. I can take it one more time. And then my samurai is coming. So I can keep doing this for at least three more turns. 
Probably I just need to be careful not to run out of melee units. But as long as I keep some melee units, this is fine. And I'm getting experience on my trebuchets. So let's do this again. Hey Dido, I heard you like silver. <laughs> yeah, I should probably stop doing this because I'm milking all her gold from her. So I'll probably stop doing that. I feel dirty for doing it already. Oh wow, awesome. Trebuchet from Hanoi. Perfect, that's the best unit that I could possibly get right now. So I'll grab Barrage actually. Two promotions, perfect. So I got Trebuchet with Volley. Best unit ever. So should I chop this down? Yeah, this is planes. So I'll chop that forest down. Reinforcements have arrived. And I need to go here, I guess. Hmm. Yep, not a big choice. Does he have more melee units in range? He might have some impies in range, I can't really see. Is he willing to negotiate yet? Yes, he is. So he will probably sign a peace deal. Let's just kill these guys first and do a little bit of damage. Yeah, I'm going to accept a peace deal. There's no point flipping the city forever. And I need to prepare my defenses. I will probably take a few more cities from him. How many cities does he have anyway? Probably around 7. I remember him having 8 or something like that. 6. He might have lost some cities to Carthage or something? Well, I don't know. Let's see. Will he actually pay for peace? That seems unlikely, but you never know. No, he won't. So I'll just accept the deal as it stands. I'm okay with that. So Olondi is mine. Now I need to wait one turn for resistance to end. I got free silver out of this. And I will finish gunpowder research in 18 turns. I had to delay my university quite a bit. So let's have a look at technology ranking. I am probably around 7 technologies behind. Yeah. I'm exactly 7 technologies behind Monty. But Monty is on the other side of the world. So he's not a huge problem. I should be able to catch up without too many problems still. I just need to focus a little bit on my research right now. I will have my research agreements triggering in not too distant future, I think. I remember signing some research agreements long ago. Let's see. Yes, I'm not going crazy. So it will trigger on turn 226. I should probably plan my research around that. Yeah, I will get two research agreements triggering right here. On turn 226 and 232. So I need to plan my research about around this boost. But anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.